Hi, and welcome to Chrissy Crates. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Actually, this is two hauls that I put into one. It is all basically Easter and spring stuff. I would say 99% Easter and spring. Uh, most of the stuff that I do have, I got duplicates, either two or three of, um, but I'm just going to try to show you one of every kind of thing, Easter thing that I got just so that it's not a two to three hour long video. Uh, okay, so let's get into it. Um, the first thing I got was this cute little wooden sign. It's got a cute little bunny. Some butterflies, some spring. I believe those are tulips. Very cute. And it sort of looks like it was hand painted. It's beautiful. And there's a little gold butterfly. It looks like it's gold leafed. How awesome is that? And I only saw two kinds at my Dollar Tree. So I saw this one too. And it's gold leafed and it says spring is in the air. Awesome. And it's got the tulips. So those are the only two I saw. And there's no there's no backing to kind of hang it up, but this you could put, you know, next to just about anything on your mantle or in your kitchen. And then put a, you know, eggs, put it in the basket, things like that, make it look really cute. So I got those two. And then I did find a lot of signs, so I'm gonna go through those really quick. The first one is, this is almost identical. It could actually be the same pattern. So isn't that cool? So if you're doing a bathroom with these, then you can use both of them. This is the bunny and the, looking at the butterfly. Really pretty. It's got the, the twine hang up. I think most all the ones that I have and a lot of the ones that you see, they're held up by the, you know, the little piece of twine. And I got a cross. It says Easter blessings. I love how the cross is glitterified. It's beautiful. Easter blessings. I got it. And I love how they look like the wood. They do this for Christmas. Just pretty much any sort of holiday. They do this wood backing. And I love the burlap. Even when little pieces are, you know, falling off like that. I think it looks really cool looks homemade. That one says blessed. Okay. And then I got another one. It says he is risen. It's really neat. Okay. <laughs> got another sign that says Easter blessings and it's got the cute two cute little chicks. And then the Easter blessings is, or the Easter is that gold foil. So, I mean, there's a few patterns like that. I did, here's another one. That's like that spring is in the air. So that was one of the first, like the first uh, photo that I showed you. So I got these two, super cute. And this seems to be, you know, the pattern this year. Really pretty gold leaf and the nice spring colors. Love it. Easter. Okay, next thing I found, how they're really cool. It is an egg candle. I don't know if you can tell. Yep, it's got a little wick. Um, I don't think, nope, they don't smell at all. So it's a smellless candle, but in the shape of an egg. And these, if you don't light them, they're still weighted so nice that you could use them for decoration pretty much all over. I think the only color I didn't get was yellow. Um, but I got that pretty green. Isn't that just beautiful? It's like that seafoam green. Pink. And then a bright blue and a pastel purple and then a really pretty pink. It's coming up more orangey on camera, but it really is a really nice, beautiful light pink. Awesome. And they had um, one box left and there was just, just a few left in. So there could be more colors. I'm not that sure. Um, for picks for eggs, I got these really, really pretty ones with sequins on them. Let me see if I can focus in on that. They're just awesome. And you get four to a pack. You get the yellow, the purple, 
the pink and the blue. And they come in this big size, and I also got some in the smaller size. Now the smaller size, you actually get five. And they're the same, these are the same kind that have the beading and the sequins. So if I put them together, then you can sort of see, you get the big size, you get about four, and then the smaller, you get five. So I got a few kinds of each of those, and let's see. Next. I'm just, I'm sorry, I gotta go through this kind of quick because I have so much stuff. It would take me years to get through it all, so. Um, I got some window decorations. I love the little egg with the bowl. And they have the holographic finish. The little chick's got a little flower in her hair. She's holding a little egg. Adorable. Okay. I didn't get many window decorations. Usually I see more for that I can use in my planner and whatnot, but that might be one of the only ones I got. And then I did get two of these. Uh, last year they did come out with some butterfly ones and they were all the same color and they were more realistic looking butterflies, but they were this kind of 2D. I don't know if you can tell, but they kind of flapped up. There's two layers to them. And they're really pretty. These ones are more, they look more cartoonish, but they're still really pretty. Like this one is beautiful. The pink one. And then they have the holographic background. This would be awesome for planners or if you're doing any sort of DIYs. Um, my grandma passed a few years ago and I wrote a poem to my mom. Um, and I used the but these butterflies and I sort of just scattered them. Um, in a shadow, like a shadow box, and they look really beautiful. Uh, I got a pick to kind of stick in the ground, but I'm probably going to use this uh, just to set it in something. These are awesome. If you, I don't, I live in a condo, so I don't really have a lot of uh, outdoor space where I can decorate, but any of these signs with picks in them, you can, you can use them in your house, and, you know, because you can put it in bases. You can put flowers around. Um, you can put more eggs. You can even put this in a like an Easter egg basket. Um, something like this that I got, which I'll show you these next. But, you know, you just put this, in, you know, you put this in and you can put some grass in there, a bunny and things. So even though they're they're meant for outdoor use, you don't have to use them for outdoor use. Many uses. Um, and I love the stripes. It's pretty. Look at that glitter. Love me some glitter. And it's got a cute little burlap bow, which I would probably want to bling up with a more Easter looking bow. Um, and I could use all of this ribbon that I got to make one. I think I got every kind that I saw. Um, Cause I'm kind of collecting the, uh, the wire ribbon right now. Cause I don't have a lot and I want to make some stuff with it. So this is the first of the wire ribbon. It looks like a picnic basket pattern, I think they call it, but it's beautiful. It reminds me of my picnic bat or my Easter basket, sorry, when I was a little girl. Because we only had a few kind in the stores, and it was always that multicolored, multicolored one and multicolored straw. And I got this one. And these each come in three yards. Beautiful flowers, floral ribbon, different kinds of flowers, spring flowers. I wish I knew all my flowers, but I'm really bad. I, I know the basic ones, but and then this one is just different kinds of eggs. It's really pretty. Right and really unique. Those are really unique kind of eggs because you wouldn't, you know, you normally wouldn't see this kind of pattern. You know. Very different. Beautiful. Okay, and then the last three, they're all kind of the same. They're just sort of sparkly. This is a, just a beautiful, I love that green. It's the same thing, the green as a candle. It's like a seafoam green. It's a beautiful Easter, or an Easter green, you could say. Then you have the purple and the pink. Just beautiful pastel ribbon. Can't go wrong. So I think I got two or three of each of those. Um, something new that I saw this year was decorative mesh. Um, but this is, it's all one sheet. I think I got four or five of these because it was really cool. And, um, they, the Dollar Tree actually sells each individual color. So you can get pink, yellow, 
uh, blue and purple all on its own. And I think you get six yards, you get five yards in here. Um, but this one I saw, it has, it has multicolor ones. I don't know if I got the other one, but there is one like it that also has four colors, but, um, I don't know if it's the yellow is switched out with a green maybe, but it's different. One of these colors is switched out with a, a different color, but I really liked this color combo together. And I think if you're just making a small wreath or a small bow, having all four colors together makes it super easy. Um, I did see some new birds this time around and I absolutely love cardinals. They're one of my favorite. They were, they were my uh, grandma's favorite birds. So anytime I see them, I think of her. And I do have some cardinals that come visit me here in Wisconsin every day around 5, 5.30. So <laughs> it's really neat. So I'm going to use him in a DIY somehow for Easter. I'm not just, I'm just not sure why. And I know they have, uh, they have other kind of birds. I wish I could tell you um, what kinds they were, but I should have taken some pictures for y'all. Oh, okay. The next thing I got was, and this is the last one I saw. I only got to have one. And out of the two stores, I only saw this one. This would be really, I think this would be a really, oh, it's kind of falling apart. Maybe that's why it was the last one, but it'll be easy to put it together. But it's just a, just a cross. But I think that would be really pretty for, um, to pick these up for Christmas too. If you have, I have more of the traditional Christmas um, around most of my house, but if you had that sort of silver and white thing, that'd be beautiful. Beautiful Christmas and for Easter. Okay, let's look at some of my eggs. I do know they had these last year. They're kind of the chrome eggs. I had to pick some more up because they're just awesome. And these chrome eggs look like all the exact colors of how I want my nails because they have that new chrome shine on um, nails that are really popular right now but you have the yellow the pink the green that gold how cool are those and I think they're just really fun so if you're you know you're into doing Easter DIYs and you want to be cool get the chrome or sparklies and I think this is new I have not seen these before I did actually get three of these because I'm I'm gonna plan on hanging these up in my craft room on my chandelier and just sort of making a sparkly, beautiful, like you know, have them kind of hanging down all over. I like having an Easter tree on my chandelier where they're beautiful. This pink, you know, I just love their sparkly pinks this year and they're they're magentas. I mean, woo! watch that all day just sparkle in the lights and then I got I got so many signs this year I think I got every one that they had because sometimes I miss out and it's hard to get any signs but then says happy Easter and it's got just really cool egg patterns this year too like look at that one you wouldn't normally see you know they're not typical egg patterns they're really kind of neat someone put a lot of thought into that and it's got uh, purple gold foil. Beautiful. I love it. Happy Easter. Um, oh, these are so cool. I just keep saying cool because I just think this year they outdid themselves. I did, uh, I did only see, and these are, I think it's gold, but it's like a blush pink, right? With a gold, I think it's called gold foiling, which is absolutely gorgeous. It goes perfect with my craft room colors. Those are kind of my craft room colors that gold and that blush pink. But I only saw the big ones. Most most of these picks, they come in the big size and then the smaller size. So I'll have to check around to see. And if any of you guys did see the smaller gold size, if you could leave me a comment below, just letting me know. Or else I could go on the Dollar Tree website because they do have one and then you can see all the stuff that they have. But, so I got that. Um, and then for a DIY, I did get two different types of grass with butterfly item. I initially got um, just the grass, but then when I saw the butterflies, I had to get them. They had, and it's hard to tell that they're butterflies, but see. And to get the butterflies to open up, I'm going to try to use a steamer to maybe de-wrinkle them and kind of work with them to get them to open up. But 
they look like flowers, but they're actually butterflies and you know, it just kind of spreads. So I got four of the purple, I don't know if you can see, but they're purple and pink. It's kind of an ombre. And then it's like blue and light blue. And you get four butterflies to each grass garden. So it's beautiful and you can really spread them out. So I'm gonna put those in some planters and do a DIY with those. Um, which I will be filming this time so everybody can see. So please stay tuned for that. Um, some more eggs I got. I thought they were so cute. I got the chickens. And the, are, these are eggs that actually have little uh, wings and feet. And a little beak, if you can see. <laughs> a little beak poking out. A little 3D. And they stand up. I have no idea how I'm going to decorate with these, but I love them. I also got the bunnies. The chubby bunnies. Chubby bunnies and cool chicks. They did have a few more, a few more of the patterns like this, but uh, these were the two I really liked. Um, I got buckets, and these buckets are adorable. You can just put planters in here, put plants. Oh, endless possibilities with these. Aren't these really cool? Now these, to me, when I look, they look more like the traditional eggs that you would decorate. Or that you would see decorated with, you know, things. But they're still nice tin, nice tin bucket. You can make some carrot sticks, you know, and put yarn carrot sticks and put them in here. That'll look so cute. Or for your kids, if you just want to have little Easter baskets, you can turn those in, you know, because they can carry them around. If you have an Easter egg hunt, which is always fun for the little ones. I did find some washi tape. It is new to me. I don't know if it's exactly new. Um, some of them are spring, like this one I just found. It's very springy. It's um, it's coming up almost green on camera, but it's pink and yellow. Really pretty pattern. Just a chevron. That one, and then not very springy, but still really cool. Rainbow pattern, kind of neon colors. And then I found a, I don't, I'm, is it paisley? No, it's sort of a paisley looking pattern. It's a beautiful blue and white. Wash your tape. Um, it's a very light yellow bird singing. Some leaves. Really cute. And then the last one, it looks like musical paper. I don't think it, it might say, it looks like it's in Spanish. So it's Spanish musical paper. Very cool. Okay. Oh, look at okay. And then I found the tins, which I'm sure you've seen everywhere. Um, I'll show you. I got four of these to do a DIY with, and they say flowers and garden. I do know there was some this exact size tin that said fleurs and something else, but I don't know if it was French, but I like the one that said flowers and gardens. And I mean, they're deep and they're tin and they're beautiful. I can't believe I found these for a dollar, but I did see somebody else haul them and this, is, this was the exact reason that I went. And I found only one of this size and I think it was left because it had a dent, but I think the dent gives it character because it looks more like, um, you know, more like it was used and it was old and kind of antique -y. But they're just so beautiful. I, I just can't imagine. They're, I mean, it just is such, it's such an upscale. You can upscale just about anything that you could do. I mean, if you're crafty, there's no limit to what you can do with those, you know. You can put them in your garden. Mm -hmm. You can make beautiful floral arrangements with them. And that's the third. So you got the difference between these two. So there might be more, but there's the tall kind of bucket and then the um, kind of the shallower bucket. And then those have handles and then these do not. Inside my buckets, I have the bunny butts. <laughs> I love these. So 
So I got like eight of these because I love bunny butts. I love decorating with bunny butts. I made bunny butt garland last year uh, for my fireplace and I absolutely love it. I might do a tour so people can see the DIYs that I did last year for the film, but it's got little clips. You just clip on. I think they're meant for you to clip on to your, uh, to your butt. I don't know, but I would definitely clip it because it right next to them they had the the bunny ears but I didn't really get any of those um, but I'm actually gonna take the flower and garden bucket and I'm gonna make a bunny and then like he's digging in the flower garden and I'm gonna use the cottontail or the I think they're called cottontail yeah and put that and use it for part of my DIY so I got four here, but I think I got like nine in total because you can never go wrong with those. There's so many, so many things you can do DIYs. And I see, I see bunny butts all over the place. So it's not just me that's obsessed, even though it is a weird obsession. I admit it. Okay. I need to sit. A lot of yik, 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 yik. Okay. A lot of chit chatting, you can say. Okay. Here we go. So I have seen these before many times, but every time I see them, I pick them up. I like making paper clips out of them um, or using them for DIYs. I thought they were beautiful. I got cute bunny erasers. <laughs> They're adorable. I love them. I'll probably uh, make some paper clips out of them. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I just love them. I think they're adorable. If, you, if anybody has any uses for them, let me know. But I don't know. I just saw them and had to have them. I also did get some organizers. They're sturdy. They're beautiful. I actually got 12 of them. I have a makeup drawer that's getting a little out of hand. Um, but literally, you can use these for anything. On Amazon, something like this goes easily for five or six bucks a piece even at Marshall's, Michael's. So if you see any of this plastic or, you know, I think it's supposed to be acrylic, but it might be just plastic. But if you see any of these organizers at Dollar Tree, get them. It's good quality. I mean, you can't, you can't bust them. You can't break them. And if your drawers are organized, ladies, you feel more organized. Am I right? Am I right? Can I get an amen? Um, I did see... Did I have some more signs? I got, I think I got every sign there is. This one I can't fit in the frame. It says Happy Easter. Really cute. Not, it's got a big old egg at the bottom. Beautiful, sparkly, purple and green. And these, when you, when you uh, fold them away for the year, they fold away so nicely. Like, look at that. Uh, next one I got, it says, All Bunnies Welcome. Got the chevron, the polka dot, and then the blue sparkly bunny. Very cool. All bunnies welcome. Uh, one thing I've never actually seen before, but uh, I'm gonna put it in my DIY in like the grass are these dragonflies. How cool are these? I found them over by, well, at least in my Dollar Tree, I found them over by where the butterflies and the birds are. Um, kind of like by the floral, but they don't, they're not exactly, they don't have a pin. Well, they do, they have like a, a needle. So you're, you I think you're just supposed to stick them in. So they don't have like a clasp or anything, but it's not like a sharp point. So it's kind of weird how they have that where you don't really clasp it in anywhere. Cause a lot of the times on the back, they have the alligator claw, but this might be kind of neat cause if you're going to use them for your planters and stuff, but dragonflies. I only saw the purple and the red. I do not know if there's other colors, but the wings are transparent. They're cool. They almost, they almost look like fishing lures to me. I bet you if my dad saw those, he would love them. Um, for my DIY really quick, I did get some floral foam and I got four which cost me $4 and I think for two, 
they're two fifty at Walmart. So you save fifty cents if you get them at the Dollar Tree. And I do know that you can. I mean, they sell full. full Floral foam. What a funny word. They do sell them in this size or they sell them in like, it's like half this size. Um, so this is a better deal. Even if you're not going to use this full block, it's better to get, you know, the biggest size that you can of anything at the Dollar Tree. You don't want to get, you know, because then you can always use it. If you like to craft, you know, you want to get the most, the most for your dollar. <laughs> I don't know why. Why is this called reindeer moss? Does anybody know? Does anybody have that knowledge? Not that a lot of people watch my videos, but anybody watching know what rain, why it's called reindeer moss? I always laugh when I see that. Um, but I do get two of these for my DIY. And these, this is actually beautiful moss. It does not look fake. It looks real. It looks like real, gla uh, real grass. sorry. And I mean, there's even little leaves in it, which is awesome. See? Different little leaves and stuff. I mean, it's not real, is it? I wouldn't think so, but. And then I did get some grass, too, for my DIY. Because I'm going to be using um, sort of the butterflies, the dragonflies, the moss, and then this grass to sort of go in my bucket and then make it look like the bunnies digging around in there and looking for some carrots. I might do some carrot tops, too. Just to make it look, look really cute. Okay. Getting there. Getting there, folks. Um, I did find, oh, these are so cute. They're egg baskets. And these come in all different Easter colors. But there's just some chicks balancing on some eggs. How cute is that? I got two of them. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I do have a pink uh, craft room. So, you know, if I want it to look more elegant, you just put it this way. If you want it more cutesy. Put it that way. Either way, it's gonna look adorable. Uh, another sign. I love this one. It's excellent. Do you get it? Excellent. It's got what? One, two, three. I can't get it into frame. I might have to back up, but it says welcome. This is something that you would really would look really cute on your door. And it's got five different eggs and it folds up so nicely until you're ready to hang it look at that takes up no space at all um i didn't get any this year but they have these huge eggs they're like i would say they're about this size and they're all different um colors and they come i don't know if i can do this really quick to show you yeah that it comes in one side where it's the solid color and then the other side is clear, which is really cool because if you're making um, Easter egg baskets for your kids, you know, when you want to put their little toys or even there's a, the big one, um, what me and my husband do is we take the really big ones every year. Um, I do have some, but I think they're packed away yet. But they're, they're like the size of this, maybe a little smaller. But we each put a gift in there for Easter and then we hide them for each other, but you can always have a, you know, for like the bigger gifts and stuff, use these bigger eggs. Or I've seen people um, make shadow boxes out of this or hanging, I think they're like gerariums. I saw a few really cool DIYs done with those, but um, I really like that gold pattern. And these, I know you've had to have seen them. They're so cute. I got the two pink ones. I have not seen the blue ones yet. I know there's blue ones out. Look at these. Oh my gosh. I just can't even. These are so adorable. I bet you they're going to be in every house across America. I just think they're so cute. Look at their little heart noses. Made of felt. That is a face anybody could love. Not just a mother. <laughs> they're adorable. I love them. They got a nice little handle. They're sturdy, but the, those you definitely want to, to decorate with. Those are centerpieces, showstoppers even. Okay. Another yeah, just a the water. Okay. Some more hanging signs. Just a bunny head. 
they did have this exact same bunny head, like really little. They kind of creep me out though, because it just looks like a bunny head, like this size, and it's 3D. It looks like they chopped off the Easter bunny's head. It's kind of unsettling, but this is really cute. The pink, pink nose, and then I got this guy with his carrot, and you can move him around. Make it look like he's dancing on the wall. He's really cute. I love him. <laughs> this is blue bow. And then oh, I found this guy. Super cute. And all of these that I'm showing you, they can be hung up. There's just a little ribbon. I should get rid of this tape. Probably distracting. But what's cool about him is it looks like his, his belly looks like the shape of an egg. Beautiful. He's cute. And I love that hologram pink that they're putting on stuff. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh, I hauled way too much stuff. Isn't that funny where you haul so much stuff and then you get it home and you're like, oh my gosh. And you're excited all over again because you find what you forgot you hauled. This is wall decorations and um, you get four of them in here. And I think I got three or four to actually put them on my wall. Maybe permanently because I think these are awesome. I that You come in pink. Black, you can't really see the black too much, but, and blue and purple. And I don't know if you can see that, but you kind of are just supposed to put them on the wall. But I kind of want to make it look like they're coming out of something like a mural on a wall for a dollar. And if those don't stick, like if the sticking's not so good, you can always, you know, use better, better adhesive to keep them on the wall. Then I got a blue Happy Easter. I also... It's, there's somewhere around here. I also got a pink one and I believe yellow or pink. Did I say pink? Yeah. So I got three, like three of these, but how cool are they? Happy Easter. Awesome. And they're so glittery. You can put those up anywhere and they're beautiful. I got some pink eggs. I might use these for... I don't know if I got six of them because usually I use these kind. They're the felt kind for placemats if I make a tablescape this year, which I plan on doing. And then I have one more pile, <laughs> 32 minutes in my camera says, so. Oh geez. I got these two, kind of the same, same pattern. And I love these. Um, they do a similar thing for Christmas where they do a cutout of the larger image. And then, so sometimes, depending on how you have these, it will spin. But it just says, Happy Easter. It's got a bunny and a chick. But look at that beautiful blue sparkles. Awesome. And then I got a pink one that says, Happy Easter. Look how cool that is. It's just beautiful. And sorry, my uh, video did cut out on me if there was a glitch. You see that? Okay. And the next one, there is Easter, Easter blessings in the cutout of an egg. How beautiful is that? See how it turns? It's awesome. It's a, look at that beautiful pink. Two chicks and an egg. Sounds like a movie, two chicks and an egg. This one's beautiful. It says Easter blessing and then it's got the cross. I love that with the pretty purple. Those are just so cool. They're so cool to hang. And uh, let's see, I got two different types of towels. I got these, they're the chicks. Let me do that way so you can see them. Chicks on the eggs. I think there is like the chicks playing with all the eggs. That must be a pattern. Because <laughs> this one, look at this guy. He's just balancing on top. And then I got these. They're just, oh, they're so awesome. Just a cute little bunny and they say Happy Easter. I love that the Happy Easter is written all in different um, pastel colors. The butterflies. And the little Easter bunny with his eggs. And I think inside... And the other side is a chick. <laughs> so bunny and a chick. And the last thing I have is my favorite thing that I found. 
I did get a few of these. Of course, they're bunny butts. And uh, that's it. That's all I have. So um, if you please like, comment, subscribe down in uh, down below, then I will get to my bunny butt DIY this time that's coming up. And you'll get to see it. But how adorable is that? It's just so cute to have the little cotton tail. So I think I got three of these. I love it. Well, anyways, enough about bunnies' butts. <laughs> uh, God bless you. Have a great Saturday or whatever day you are watching this. And have a great night. Bye.